Hey folks, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride and I'm back with another plan with me video. This time I am planning out a packing list for the trip I just got back from which was to Grand Bend in Ontario. The reason I decided to make a packing list is that I am a notorious overpacker as many of you may be able to relate if you are someone who is a bit of a type A personality, if you are someone who is a worrier you may feel as though you need to pack for every possible eventuality and you end up with enough stuff for three times the amount of time you're going to be wherever you're going and that has always been my problem and since this was a pretty short trip it was literally six days and five nights i knew that i had to be on top of it and pack light especially because i knew that while my husband and i were being picked up in Toronto where we live by my mom and we had the whole car for our stuff we were going to be taking the train home and on the train you have a limit of a personal item and two other items so I didn't want to go over that we also had to bring a bunch of gear because this whole trip was around my grandparents 65th anniversary yes 65 years married I know it is a little nuts uh, and incredible so they asked my husband and I to play at their anniversary party because we're both musicians, we're both musical, and we played at our wedding. And they saw us play there and they really loved it. So they asked us to play at their anniversary party, just a short little, you know, three, four song set. But because we were just playing at a restaurant and they didn't actually have anything set up for live performance, we had to bring everything ourselves. So we brought a guitar, a lap steel, a bass guitar, two amps, a microphone, a microphone stand, a music stand, all the cables we would ever need, a bunch, a bunch of stuff. So, so adding in that as well, we wanted to make sure that our personal stuff was pretty light so that we would have more room in the car for all of our gear. And that way we could bring all of our own stuff home on the train. And then my parents could just bring our gear home when they passed through Toronto later this week when they're coming home. So those are the reasons why I really needed a list. Also because I'm pretty good at being very on top of making sure I have everything, but I also am very good at forgetting one important thing, which I still did this time, even though I had a list because I ended up switching one of the toiletry bags I was using and I left my nail clippers and my tweezers in that bag. So I didn't have those, but it wasn't the end of the world. It's fine, it's fine. So I started off with toiletries and I just did toiletries the A in brackets is all because I included everything that my husband would need as well as everything that I would need just all together just to make it easier. At the bottom, sorry the angle of it you can't quite see right now but there's a technology section. Um, we just had both of our laptops, both of our chargers, we both had a little bit of work that we had to do while we were away. Um, so we had to bring those and of course our phones and our phone chargers and we also brought my new camera which i didn't film this on i filmed this on my previous camera which i still have it's the fujifilm xe2 and uh, that's what i've filmed all my videos on up to this point except for my august plan with me video that was on my new camera which my husband got me for my birthday which is coming up and it's the sony a6300 so i'm still learning how to use it and right now it's just the kit lens we're gonna get a new lens that should hopefully really really up the quality for all of you which i'm super excited about it also means that i can film two angles if i want so so that's what i did in my august plan with me i had that kind of standard overhead shot that i do for planning videos using my new camera and then i had my fuji camera on the side on an angle so you can kind of see under my hand because that's a comment i've received a number of times that it's a little hard to see what's happening underneath my hand because I do write pretty choked up on the pen. It's just how I learned to write and it's pretty hard for me to write any other way. So that way it was kind of helps to see underneath my hand so you can see what I'm writing as I'm writing it. So we wanted to bring the new Sony and the charger for that as well so I could start to learn a little bit more about it. The Sony menu system and the way the camera set up is very different from our Fuji. And the Fuji was the first DSLR camera I ever used. I've never taken photography or videography classes of any kind. I don't know a lot about cameras. Everything I know about how to use my camera, I learned just by using it and experimenting and my husband teaching me because he used to work at a camera store. And so now I have to do the whole process again because the Sony is set up very, very differently. It's a very different camera. So it's a fun learning process. That's how what I'm, that's what I'm telling myself because it's a little stressful to learn a whole new camera. Anyway, 
brought that to play around with that. And then I had my packing list section. So just all the clothes and things I was bringing for myself. I tried to pack a good mix of uh, warmer temperature stuff. I didn't really know what we'd be doing. We hadn't really decided on it. I knew we'd be going to the beach and that was about it. I didn't know if we'd be going into town to shop or hang out. I didn't know if we'd mostly be hanging out around home. I didn't know what the temperature was going to be. So it was kind of hard. It actually ended up being a little chilly and raining quite a bit while we were there. So I ended up wearing the one pair of jeans I brought and my cozy sweater most of the days. <laughs> so there you go. But I still had options. I still wore three of the four bathing suits I brought um, and got use of most of the things that I brought. And then I wrote up my husband's packing list and his was pretty straightforward. Um, just making sure that he had enough tops and bottoms and something nice to wear for the anniversary. Uh, just as a reminder for him for what he needed to bring. And then a little list for the anniversary party. I kind of wrote out a very basic list, just... <laughs> That's my Chewbacca alarm on my phone. Wow. Um, I just wrote out the basic things I could think of off the top of my head, even though I knew Jason would be the one packing all of that, just so that I could kind of go through the basics and make sure that he was on top of it. Although he is a sound engineer, so he's... He's on top of it. I probably didn't need to make a list for this, but as we know, I love lists, so I wasn't going to pass up that opportunity. I left a pretty big open other miscellaneous section in case I'd forgotten anything. I ended up just leaving the ID and the train tickets because that's all I needed for that category. And then at the bottom there, I just made a before we leave to-do list. Things we had to do like practice our set, um, cleaning the house because we had a friend house sitting, uh, making sure we were stocked up on cat food and cat litter, doing the laundry, changing the linens. All of that fun stuff that we had to do before we left. And that was the entirety of the packing list. Then moving over to the other side of the page, I decided to make just a pretty little feature page, quote page. And I wanted to use the moon that I created in my Tombow brush pen moon tutorial. So that video is up on my channel. I'll link it in the description and in the cards if you wanna watch it. But I created this moon using Tombow brush pens and I had nowhere to put it really. So I decided to put it on the spread. So I just glued it in and then I just ripped out a little more of the watercolor paper and glued that in as well to put my quote on top of just for some texture and an interesting effect. And then I hand lettered the quote, collect moments, not things. And I really, really like how it turned out. I tried to combine a variety of different fonts to play around with it. So some block letters, some faux calligraphy, um, using pens of different weights to give things different feel and a bunch of little highlights around. I'm trying to work a little bit more on my hand lettering and being more creative with the types of lettering I do and the types of fonts I try out just because I think it's more interesting for me and for all of you if I play around with it and do something different especially because the setup of my journal is pretty standard. I keep it the same pretty much every month just because I've been doing this for quite a few years and I found a system that works for me. So I wanna change up the headers and my, you know, my lettering and the art style and the themes to keep it interesting and to show you how to do a bunch of different things. And those little kind of stars and dots and things around are kind of an homage to my August theme, which is fairy lights, as you will have seen if you saw my August plan with me, um, just to kind of tie it together from my moon theme right into my fairy lights theme. And I like that it kind of looks like stars since they aren't on the string. And so that sort of ties in with the moon. Since you made it all the way to the end of the video and I'm sure you're looking for something else to watch, why don't you check out my August plan with me video? I did something really fun this month. I let my Instagram followers choose 
basically everything about how my bullet journal would turn out and it was so much fun and I'm really, really happy with the result. So go check out that video if you haven't watched it already. If you've already watched that video, then check out my Bujo playlist. It has every bullet journal video I've ever made on this channel, which is quite a few, and I'm sure there's something on there you haven't seen yet. So that's it for this little quick packing list video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below the last trip you went on and whether or not you made a packing list or if you haven't been on one recently where you're going soon or hope to go soon. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye folks.